Hi folks, this is Robert with RetroBasic.com demonstrating a house, Haunted House version 6. There is version 4, version 5, and version 6. Um, they all stem from different source codes uh, from different machines. And uh, the basic was modified and different things were done. So that's what we got. Uh, we're just going to do a partial run through. That uh, version 5 I did was a full run through with the solution. This would just be a partial run through. So uh, let's go. So what this does is starts the program because it's an early version of Retro Basic. So let's see, it's up and running. It starts us at the very start. Very nice. Um, it has been said that Vincent Price played Haunted House, but he, he didn't make it. So let's see if we can just play around with this a little. Okay, first let's see, we're going to go east, and now we're on the railings, and this is a big old pot. Listen to that Halloween background we got going, folks. It's mega scary. Then we want to go um, east again, that takes us to the front tower. Oh yeah, front tower. Let's see, we go east one more time. There's a crumbling facade, and we can go west or east. The aerosol's there, but since we're not going to do a complete plan, I'm just uh, running around the house a little bit. Uh, we go west, back to the front tower, railings. Now this is where we go into the house. Because some uh, bystander threw out an aerosol spray can. Um, we just luckily found it, and that's something you need in the game. That's pretty convenient for us. Okay. Um, go north again. Uh, let's see. Can't go that way. Huh? Totally lost. Oh, we finally got to the port. How convenient. Okay, so going into the house, we go north into the lobby. And then. Oh boy, the door slams shut. And we want to go... Uh, where are we going to go here? We want to go west. Front wall. North. Gloomy passage. So the vacuum here you would get. And then we head to the kitchen. Which is north, north, and then you want to go east, and there's your map. This is a lovely game. Runs in uh, Retro Basic. Um, it is a uh, new language I created. Uh, I have a website, RetroBasic.com. Um, it's just like old-fashioned basic. 
Uh, the system is based on Commodore 64, basic. Um, it'll run almost all the commands except for the uh, disk loading, like load and save. Um, and the open command, you don't want to use those. Uh, we're putting a manual on the website pretty soon. And um, the code is on Patreon also um, for the programs that we're writing. So yeah, join us now. Um, it's also something very easy for your uh, kids to pick up. And I learned programming when I was in fifth grade on a TRS-80 Model 1. And then I moved to the Commodore Pet for a year. And then it was on to the Apple II. Um, all of them, I learned the basic. They were all similar. Um, and thousands of programmers that are working in the field today learn on the old basic programming language. So it might be something to look at. Um, and you can have fun. The other thing is you can just type in some text save the text, compile the text, and the next thing you know you have a running Windows program. Which, uh, it might be cool to have, uh, to have people learn that before they go on to other languages. Anyway, um, that's all I got today. Um, thanks for watching, and you guys have a great day.